These are the bones from the left leg of the equine thoracic limb. Proximal is toward the top of the screen, distal is toward the bottom of the screen. Here we have the carpal, metacarpal, and phalangeal bones of the digit. The accessory carpal bone is caudal and lateral to the ulnar and intermediate carpal bones. It is included in the proximal row with the radial, intermediate, and ulnar carpal bones. Metacarpal 3 is the main bone of the metacarpus and one of the strongest bones of the body. Metacarpal 4 is the lateral splint bone. Metacarpal 2 is the medial splint bone. The digit is composed of three phalanges, P1 or the proximal phalanx, P2 or the middle phalanx, and P3 or the distal phalanx. Proximal sesamoids are located caudal to the metacarpal phalangeal joint. Here is the proximal interphalangeal joint and the distal interphalangeal joint. The navicular bone is located caudal to the distal interphalangeal joint. Here we see the carpal bones. Tendons associated with the carpus are covered by dense connective tissue called retinaculum. These retinacula are continuations of the deep fascia of the forearm. Extensor retinaculum covers the dorsal surface of the carpus, keeping extensor tendons in place. Here we see the extensor carpi radialis tendon as it is being held in place by the extensor retinacula. The tendon from the common digital extensor is seen under the extensor retinaculum as the tendon crosses the craniolateral aspect of the carpus. Flexor retinaculum is smaller than extensor retinaculum. It connects the accessory carpal bone to the radial and second carpal bone. Here we'll show you on the skeleton again as the flexor retinaculum goes from the accessory carpal bone to the radial carpal bone. Flexor retinaculum is composed of superficial and deep leaves. The lateral palmar nerve passes between the leaves of the flexor retinaculum. to run deep to the tendon of the flexor carpi ulnaris. Here we can see the severed edges of the superficial and deep leaves of the flexor retinaculum. Deep to the deep leaf of the flexor retinaculum is the carpal canal. The median artery, medial palmar nerve, and superficial and deep digital flexor tendons all run through the carpal canal. Here's the superficial and deep digital flexor tendons. The median artery is associated with the medial palmar nerve, which is now being held by the forceps. And this is the median artery. The carpal canal itself is lined deeply by the palmar carpal ligament. And again, the lateral palmar nerve does not run through the carpal canal, but instead passes between the superficial and deep leaves of the flexor retinaculum. The palmar carpal ligament is the deepest structure in the carpal canal and lines the back of the carpal bones. A 
As we look at the skeleton, we can see that structures in the carpal canal pass caudal to the intermediate and third carpal bones. They continue distally, caudal to metacarpal 3. The interosseous muscle is located mainly caudal to metacarpal 3. It originates at the distal end of the palmar carpal ligament and the proximal end of metacarpal 3. It splits in the distal portion of metacarpal 3 to insert on the abaxial surfaces of the proximal sesamoid bones. The so medial and lateral divisions will both insert on the abaxial surfaces of the respective proximal sesamoid bones. Extensor branches from each division pass dorsally to insert on the common digital extensor tendon, dorsal to P2 from the medial and lateral sides. Again, we see the common digital extensor tendon with the medial extensor branch coming from the medial division of the suspensory ligament, which is the other name for the interosseous muscle.